actually had like a good a good video I had a good video plan for today I really did I recorded it for the first time yesterday which is huge for me to do something a day in advance the footage came out with this super crackly audio from this microphone throughout the entire thing it totally ruined I was on forums forever trying to figure out a fix for it I tried one of the fixes woke up this morning recorded the video again these are two hour sessions by the way at the end of the session I opened the thing up and it did the same thing again I did more digging I spent basically my whole day doing this I spent basically my whole day troubleshooting this problem. My recording process is now perfect. As far as I know, I guess I shouldn't make <laughs> statements like that because that's what I thought last time. So it should no longer be an issue. But today I don't have a video. So I'm gonna tell you another terrible truth. And no, it's not that I'm wearing glasses now. These are computer glasses because all the blue light has been keeping me up at night. Just make fun of me in the comments. Terrible truth number two, fine. <laughs> The year was 2005. For whatever reason, during this time in my life, I was going through a phase of both watching Harriet the Spy the movie a bunch of times, and also Big Fat Liar with Frankie Muniz. In both of those movies, they do a lot of pranks, and I started to think that pranks were very cool. But I was also a really good kid, and so I didn't know how to express myself through pranks, and I was looking for ways to do so. And genuinely, for the last 15 years, I've never confessed that this happened to anyone. When you're eight years old, you know, it's like, who do you know? You know your friends and your parents, and that's it. And um, I didn't get to see my friends much because I didn't have a car. And I couldn't drive if I did, because I was eight. So in my house, I thought I would try to prank my parents. So, one night, I went down to the kitchen. I collected a bunch of toothpicks, and I went back up to my room. Every morning, my dear sweet mother, would walk into my bedroom and wake me up by singing a song and opening the blinds. It was all very sweet. And for whatever reason, in my twisted eight-year-old brain, I thought it'd be best to play a mean prank on her for doing that. So, I, gra I grabbed these toothpicks from the kitchen in the midst of the night. I went up to my room. In sort of the bottom of the door frame at the entrance of my room, I placed these toothpicks like a little little fortress wall. So naturally, if someone were to step into my room and not be watching their step, they might harm themselves with toothpicks in the feet. And I thought I was very, very clever. I thought this was going to be the prank of the century. You know, she's going to do the whole cartoon thing where this, you know, and we do this number. I'm picturing her doing that into my bedroom. I'm laughing about it already. I go to bed. Also that evening, I'd had Little Caesar's Pizza. And I don't know if you know this about Little Caesar's Pizza, but it's not good. It is cheap, but it's not good. I had had a weird mixture, I guess, that day of eight-year-old foods. I don't know if eight-year-olds eat candy and Little Caesars, like that was it. I got sick that night. Okay, so literally in the middle of the night, I wake up, I've got sweats and everything. I remember this, I was eight years old. I had sweats and it was like horrible. I felt so sick and I had to throw up. I knew it was coming. So I got up out of bed <laughs> and like I start going to the bathroom and I completely forgot that the toothpick fortress was there. So I stepped flat and center on the toothpick fortress and there was none of that, that foot holding business. The toothpicks went into my foot and I was bleeding extensively. I'm not kidding. For 15 years, I've never told anyone this because I was so embarrassed that I had set up a prank that I genuinely fell for myself. And so as you might imagine, well, first of all, I crawled to the bathroom down the hallway by my sister's room, was sick, went back to my room, took the toothpicks out, Try to forget it happened. I hear Kelly laughing in the other room. She's listening to this story. And then I never tried to be cool again in my life, including today, which is probably evident considering the fact that I can't even hit two days of uploading in a single week. But I will be back this upcoming week. I'm going to do a lot of catch up work this weekend because I have a really great idea for a video that I want to make sure is perfect um, that I've been trying to do for the last two days with those stupid recordings not working. So we'll be back for it. But until then, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you soon.